Hello. This video is a response to a topic on the Ableton forum that I posted about strategies for using the fade to gray effect. It's in the push discussion section. Um, I encourage you to look it up if you haven't already. So I wanted to find ways to use fade to gray because I like the sound of it, but I was having trouble. Let me play for you what I wanted to do with it so you can understand. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the quality of the sound. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So here we go. This is what I wanted to hear. Sample bass line without any effect going into it. And this is what I want to kind of do with it. I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, so if you didn't notice, what I was doing was feeding that little bass line thing into fade to gray, letting it fade to gray, and then cutting it off and playing the clean signal back again while the fade to gray, while its tail was sounding. Okay, so I had a, it took me a little while to figure this out, how to do that in a live situation. Um, one, and the way that I just showed you, there's some details about, or rather, benefits and disadvantages to a couple of different strategies. So one, first, one of the people on the forum, Schmitty, hi Schmitty, nice to meet you, um, suggested I just make a clip with automation in it that cuts off the fade to gray. And here's the product. The problem with that is that that works, but the problem with that is I will show you. So here we go. This is Schmitty's way that he was he or she wanted me to do. So here we go. I got fading in. All right. Cool. That's working. However, because now I've this is my clip with automation and I fed it through fade to gray and now I got the clean. The problem is I have a different clip up here, this bass asleep. This is just a different, total different bass line. Watch what happens when I click on it. Hardly any sound. Oh no, yeah, it's not working. That's because, um, that is because this clip without automation, I use that to fade in. And then this clip with automation cleared the fade back down to zero is good now I have the clean signal but when I go to another clip that doesn't have automation that fade will stay high and so the effect will be working and I won't hear another clip so I would have to it, it would take a lot of juggling in a live situation to try to turn knobs and this and that and switching screens and it wouldn't it wouldn't be very conducive to making a live show so um, that way isn't really a good um, solution Unless, Smitty, if I'm missing something, if you have other ideas on how to do it, please post. And, um, yeah, because, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm sure maybe there is a way. I don't know. But but with this way, um, it works because I can... Here, I'll show you. I'll demonstrate it. Okay. So I have the clean signal. And I'm going to fade in. All right, let's bring it back. There's the clean signal. And let me clip, put that different clip. That's what that clip sounds like, that different bass line, without the fade to gray. And I can fade that to gray if I want. And see, I can go, now I have more control. I can keep better tabs on what signal is wet, what signal is dry, I can do it quickly in a live situation, but there's disadvantages to this method. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. 
another thing to point out is that um, to do what I'm doing here with this with this way I figured out with fade to gray and how to use it is I had to create a little effect rack uh, let's expand it here so this effect rack has two two strings in it one is clean and one is with the fade to gray itself so um, it involves using a utility and connecting mute to the chain selector. So in my clean one, obviously there's nothing happening, but then in my effects one, in addition to a fade to gray, which is a one knob effect, I had to put in this utility and I had to route these two buttons to do it. If you want more information on how I did that, I can post a video on that. It's pretty easy, although if you see the setup here, you might be able to just kind of figure it out. Um, it involves making key assignments, oops, wrong one, or mapping, making a key mapping. So you can see up here in this area, making the mapping for that macro to make it work. Okay, great. The problem with this method is that um, I have to turn the fade down manually and the chain selector to get it to work. It's a good method, it, it works really well, but I kind of wanted to find a way to make it more automated. So in the heat of the moment when I'm performing or trying to do something live, I don't want to think too much about the chain selector and the fade. So um, I looked into CliffX and I downloaded it yesterday <laughs> and I found this way, which is kind of cool. Um, let me demonstrate it. Okay, so here's my clean signal. And I'm going to do that fade in thing. All right, there we go. And I didn't have to like turn this fade down to zero. It went by itself um, when I re triggered the clip because I used CliffX actions to do it. Um, let me show you again. Demonstration. Okay. And I like that. It's just really easy. I don't have to sit here and twiddle with knobs. I just fade in, stop the clip from playing, and then re-trigger the clip, and it the um, fade fades out automatically because of the CliffX string. So, and the one one bad thing about this is that if you noticed in when I use this method, I can include the tail of the effect but I can't do it with this one, unfortunately. Um, so there's benefits and disadvantages both. This one's faster, simpler, easier, but you're not gonna get the tail. This one is still pretty fast. It involves a little bit more work, but you can do, you can hear the tail with the clean signal. You can't do that with this one. Um, or at least I haven't figured out a way to do it yet. So that's my video. I hope you get something out of it. If you got questions, I'm sorry, it's a little early in the morning. My brain isn't working as well as it could. I'm not being the good teacher I could be. But in any case, I hope you got something out of it. And thanks a lot for joining in the discussion. It's nice to meet you all.